Hi everyone, so this is another important video where I'm going to teach you the computer buses. This is basically a very exclusive content to computer buses, like for example, the FSB. What is FSB means or front side bus? Simply, the FSB is the bus that connect between the CPU and the North Bridge. We're gonna see in this video all buses that connect between the component and the chipsets of motherboard. So let's get started. So please don't forget to subscribe, share the video and like the video because your likes motivate me to create more and more videos for you. Thank you very much and let's get started. So you can simply go to my website as you can see here prospace20.com if you want to watch the video and to follow with me in the article in the same time just go to, to my website and follow with me i'm going to put the link of this article in the description box so let's get started guys so the computer buses structures and details with the schematic diagram types and functions of system bus so as you can see here the first picture here as you can see so this is the cpu this is basically the block diagram of a computer motherboard if you understand, please don't worry about the difference between the laptops and computers. No, if you understand just one schematic, one block diagram, you can understand any other block diagram of any computer, whatever its type. Is it Apple? Is it HP? Is it Dell? No problem with the type of the laptop. Because the working principle and the process is the same. You will find always the CPU and the graphic card and the North Bridge and the ICH and the BIOS and the keyboard control or Super I.O. in every laptop. But the difference, sometimes you will find that these chipsets are integrated with each others or separated with each others, depending on the type of the computer okay for example here we have the cpu we have the north bridge and the graphic card the graphic card is integrated with the north bridge over here and we have the ich okay in some laptops you will find that all these chipsets are integrated in the cpu so we have here the cpu and we have the north bridge so the bus that connects between the CPU and the North Bridge is the front side bus or the FSP bus. Its frequency or speed is a very high speed. Okay, for example, here we have 523 until 667 megahertz. Okay, then we have the bus that connects between the North Bridge or the graphic card and the ICH or the short bridge, we call it DMI or direct media interface. So basically its speed or frequency is a little bit not like the, the FSP. Here we have one mega, 100 megahertz. And we have other buses, for example, the bus that connects between the North Bridge and the RAM DDR. RAM, it's called RAM bus. Okay, for example, we have here in the ICH, we have the PCA bus that connects between the ICH and other connectors like 1394 and the bus that connects between the ICH and USB connectors and other connectors, USB bus, etc. Okay, so let's see here exactly the article here. We have the purpose of the buses. The purpose of the buses on a computer is to reduce the number of paths required for communication between the components of the latter. For example, between the processor and the chipset or what is called the not bridge. And this is by making all communications over one data channel. This is why the data highway 
metaphor is used. The database is characterized by the amount of information that can be transmitted at once. This amount expressed in bits correspondence to the number of physical lines on which data is transmitted simultaneously. A 32 wire mapped cable can transmit 32 bits in parallel. The term width is used to denote the number of bits that this bus can move at once. In addition, the conversion speed of this data is defined by its frequency expressed in hertz or megahertz and the number of data packets sent or received per second every time data is sent or received it is called a cycle in this way the maximum bus speed or the amount of data that can be transferred per unit of time can be found by multiplying its width by its frequency for example a bus that is 16 bits wide and at 123 megahertz has transmission speed equal to 16 bits time 1330 five zeros hertz equal to 2128 six zeros in fact each bus generally consists of 50 to 100 distinct physical lines divided into three subgroups the first is the address bus sometimes called the memory bus which transmits the memory addresses that the processor wants to access in order to read or write data it is an any directional vector the second is the data bus which transmits the instructions received from the processor it is a bi-directional two-way carrier the third is the command bus or command bus that transmits requests and clocks from the control unit it is a bi-directional vector because it is also transmits status words from the device toward the processor it is worth noting that for the correct communication between this complex electronic elements there must be the same width for the buses or buses in charge of this this explains why ram modules sometimes had to be inserted in pairs for example the first pentium chips which were 64 bit processor vectors require two memory models with each weight of 32 bit let's see right now the types of buses the basic buses in the motherboard there are generally two buses within a computer the first one is the processor and it is called the front side bus or fsp for short the internal bus allows the processor to communicate with the main system memory RAM the second which is sometimes called the input output IO bus allows various components of the motherboard from USB serial port, power port, r port, inserted cards, PCI connectors, hard drives, CD drives, etc. to communicate with each other. Chipset it is the component that routes data between buses of a computer so that all components that make up a computer can communicate communicate with each other this chip or electronic chip was originally made of a large number of electronic chips hence the name it generally has two components the first is the not bridge also called the memory controller that is responsible for controlling the transfers between the processor and the RAM, which is why it is physically located near the processor, sometimes called GMC heads for graphic control, board, and memory. The second is South Bridge, also called Input Output Control Unit or Expansion Control Unit, which deals with communication between other devices as mentioned before also called ICH the terms bridge is generally used to designate a component that connects two different buses or transporters in a computer a bus is defined as a set of physical connections such as cables printed circuits etc which can be shared by multiple hardware components in order to communicate with each others so that's it guys for this article 
so the link of this article i will post it or put it in the description box plus other very useful links and please don't forget to subscribe share and like the video because your engagement motivates me a lot to create more and more videos for you thank you very much and see you in the next video